And the Government, Military and Veterans Affairs Committee spent the last five months coming up with an elections cleanup bill, preparing us for the next elections. I spoke with two senators who worked on this bill to see what changes we may see in November. Well, I, I was concerned about election integrity and security of the elections, and I was, uh, I've been working on other ways to make sure Nebraska's votes all count in one person, one vote, and that's why I wanted to bring this bill. Every year, an election bill is drawn up to keep voting in Nebraska up to date. Some years, it's, it's a major change. Other years, it's, it's more just minor adjustments, things that have been overlooked that need to be changed. And this is the first year since the pandemic, so we had some lessons learned from that that had to make for major changes. The pandemic increased the number of people mailing in ballots, and this bill addresses securing ballot drop boxes across the state. There were ballot drop boxes that were not very well supervised and or secured, and so the bill requires that the ballot drop box be bolted down and it be locked, only one key given to the election commissioner, and wanting to secure the elections in Nebraska, and I think it is an improvement to make sure that they are more secure. Senator Sanders is making sure the election process is accessible for all by adding new standards for campaigning on TV or the radio. It requires each candidate add closed captioning or provide a transcript. We have taken a different way of, of addressing those that are handicapped, and so uh, Senator Sanders' bill is focused totally on the, the uh, deaf and hard of hearing, and so that's going to be a nice addition, but again, Sometimes we think too big and we forget about smaller slices of, of our society that, that needs to have the same privileges and, and this is what this bill does. Senators are now expected to vote on Monday. If it passes by the time the governor signs it and we have the period from when he signs it to become, till it becomes law, will mean that it will be effective for the fall elections but not for our May primary. Senator Brewer feels there shouldn't be much pushback on this bill unless amendments start to get added. This bill will have to be voted on two more times before the session is over.